This is the entrance to <coughs> Eagle Cay, <coughs> Marco Island, south end of Marco Island. This is the uh, front entrance, as you can see. Over to the left here, as you go in, it's got a large parking area and uh, tennis courts and a pool <coughs> around the front of the uh, community. And the community itself, the buildings wrap around the community. This is the building, 901 Collier Boulevard, Unit 102. Um, this is parking under the building, an additional park on the outside. This is the uh, back side of the building here on the uh, on the Kexamus Pass. This is one of the canals along the side of the property here. Just to give you an idea of this. There's some docks. I don't know if any are available or not, but there's not a lot of docks, so it's probably first come, first serve, or maybe even they might even be deeded. But here's the uh, Kexamus Pass out here. And if you can see down the way there, that's the Gulf of Mexico. See, so almost on the Gulf of Mexico. Pretty view. In this particular pool, there's a pool on the side of the building here too. That's uh, that goes with this building. There is some storage down on the uh, underneath the building here, and Unit 402 has a storage locker here also too for additional storage. Here's a covered walkway, uh, a catwalk on the outside of the building here. We're going to Unit. 402, the unit 402. This is the uh, kitchen area. It looks well kept, well maintained. Looks as though it's being sold with some furniture. It says turnkey on it, which means pots and pans and coffee makers, all the stuff comes with it. But it's from like a countertop, so it's probably pretty much original. Uh, could use a little bit of updating. Nice look, lots of cabinet space, open to the family. Yeah, this is the view from the kitchen out to the family room and beyond. It has a uh, carpeted area, the living area is all carpeted. There's a dining room table here. There's the uh, living room. Uh, it comes with this a present with this furniture so it'd be easy move in, ready to move in. Got a uh, tile deny out here and this is the view. Uh, that's the Gulf of Mexico, the other side of that tall building up there. This is Caxiamas Pass, we're looking at. Nice view. We're right over the pool. So we uh, get all the amenities you need. And right next door, this building next door here, that's uh, a Caxiamas Park. There's a boat ramp there and a fishing fuel dock and stuff like that right there. This is a right. the master bedroom. It's a good sized master bedroom with a nice view out to the Caxiamas Pass in the Gulf of Mexico. Pretty view. Uh, the paint looks pretty good in here. I don't see evidence of anything other than uh, there's no power on right now, but it's only been off about a month. I just spoke with the building superintendent. Uh, this has got a double vanity sink, mirrored wall, throne area, uh, oversized uh, closet for the master bedroom, and a shower. So it's just a shower stall. This is the uh, hallway in the back here. It does have um, appliances that the washer and dryer still are in place here. No way I know if they're uh, working. It's well kept unit, nice shape. This is bathroom number two. A little dark in here, no lights, but it's a tub and shower enclosure. It looks like there's a little chip of paint off on the tub. Single vanity. Uh, this is bedroom number two. It's got uh, pull-out couches to make beds, or they just they just pull out the, and use them as beds. Uh, it's probably used as a uh, TV room. Looks like that. It's got a full-size closet uh, set up to be a TV room. Anyways, this is unit number 402. It's built in 1988. It's got 1,125 square feet on the air, and it's a nice unit. Great look. Uh, very pleasant water view. Any questions, please give me a call. I'm at 239-784-1963. Dennis McDonald with Sun Realty. Thank you very much.